Intel's upcoming Alder Lake S desktop CPUs are going to offer a huge performance increase over the current 4 nanometer parts, but will do so while running really hot and consuming a large amount of power. The testing for this chip was done by Wolf Stimmen, who is Lenovo's China gaming desktop and product planning manager. In his post, he states that not only will the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 graphics card utilize 350 watts to run at its full potential, but also follows up with what seems to be early numbers of an Intel Alder Lake S chip running at the Lenovo test labs. The Ada64 stress test was very brutal and shouldn't be compared to standard workloads such as gaming and rendering which puts way less stress on the CPU cores. It looks like both tools aren't reporting the correct specifications for the Intel Alder Lake chip but we did get to see the power and temperatures of the chip. It looks like the chip could be the flagship Intel Core i9-12900K solely based on the Windows 11 task manager. The task manager shows 12 thread boxes, however this is just half of the view and there could be an additional 12 boxes that aren't displayed. The Intel Alder Lake CPU is shown running at an average temperature of 86 degrees Celsius and peaked at 93 degrees Celsius. It's not known what sort of cooling equipment was used, but the system was stress test for at least an hour. As for power consumption, the Intel Alder Lake chip averaged around 250 watt power consumption with a peak of 255 watt. This is in line with its 255 watt PL2 rating, which we heard before. The previously leaked information showed us that the power demand would increase by 50 to 100 watts for Intel's upcoming 12th gen Alder Lake CPUs compared to 11th gen Rocket Lake chips. This is the current peak, so we are talking about boost clock speed, power limit 4, which has a duration of less than 10 milliseconds. The existing Intel Core i9-11900K has a PL2 rating of 250 watts, and we have seen early ES variants of Alder Lake CPUs, the non-K ones, already featuring PL2 ratings of 228 watts, so we can expect over 250 watts for the PL2 ratings for the higher end models. Intel's Alder Lake desktop lineup and Z690 platform are expected to launch on the 27th of October and will be the first mainstream consumer platform to utilize not only PCIe 5.0 but also DDR5 technologies, along with Intel's new hybrid architecture approach which is something that Microsoft actually optimized Windows 11 OS for. What do you think about Intel using up to 350 watts to power their CPUs? Let us know in the comments down below. Go check out these awesome videos too, and don't forget to subscribe.